Hello everyone on the internet and thanks for tuning in. This is Ryu Kiba of Ryu Kiba Toku with my last of the concurrent Toku unboxings. Uh, so, my last unboxing of a currently running section is Takeshi Hongo. Takeshi Hongo himself. This is It Come Rider Ichigo in his civilian attire but with the henshin belt on. I bought this one just to honour Takeshi Hongo because... Again, the first rider, absolutely handsome man, what can I say? And, uh, yeah, you know, I absolutely loved the character. I mean, I also loved Hayato Ichimonji as well, so props to him. But, you know, everyone knows Takeshi Hongo, right? But yeah, the only civilian form that I've actually bought. So, I bought this around the 4,000 yen mark new so I've got this at a very good deal. I mean, typically, can't you know, like I've had problems trying to get it imported. So even in Japan itself, you're looking around the 4,000 yen mark used. And then, you know, maybe 5,000 plus still used and maybe 6,000 plus new. But okay, we've got his name. I'm assuming that's his name in Japanese there with, with a very unusual window, but... A big shot of the figure there with the usual Kamen Rider logo. No mention of him being Ichigo, maybe. I mean, because I know that just says Kamen Rider. Takeshi Hongo. Now, the blurb. SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that uses the art style of Bandai action figures to successfully pursue character expression through humanoid action. Final video, and that actually does make sense. I mean, I'm saying final videos, but... When future riders will be released, I will do unboxings of their videos. But yeah, it's got the blurb twice. Uh, his prehension pose there. On the back, it just says molding option parts of the blurb again with SH for guards. Toe seal of approval on the back, ages 15 and up. The rest is in Japanese with the contact details there, supposed to on the bottom. But let's get on with this unboxing. And I thought that I'm literally a little nervous about doing this one actually. All right. Well, the backings come straight out with him, and I'm not gonna lie, his lips just seem very red. I mean, again, this is probably one of the reasons why I don't do um, civilian right civilian forms normally, because it's just a little too close to home, right? So he comes with an odd number amount of hands. That's brilliant. That's five on his right and four on his left, and that includes closed fists. And apparently. So the backing, oh right, so that's the backing that's shown on the back, and I'm definitely using this, right. Right, that is quite a funky plastic he's got there. A very funky addition to this set. Right, well, considering this guy doesn't have any weapons, but I'm not really sure what to expect of this. I mean, the hands, he's got golden gloves, which are a very nice touch. And wow, this guy is very well wrapped in plastic, which has just easily pulled away. Wow, he has amazing hair, just like in the show. I mean, it looks a little off colour, but Wow, that's a really stiff neck. I mean, again, it's got a very Thunderbirds vibe going on here. Uh, right. Considering he's wearing leathers, he's got limited movability, but that's a very different feel of plastic going on. And again, he's got those 70s flares definitely going on. But look, <laughs> Right, so because he's got those flares, his flexibility in his ankles are very limited. But yeah, you do get to see him fight in civilian form, of course, just as many riders do. But the fact is, you know, I'm not buying anyone like Dan Croto, as as iconic as he is, but Takeshi Hongo is the man. I mean, there's not very much he can really 
do with this one because I think apart yeah apart from basic standing and maybe basic posing again the flares really keep him off balance Oof. I mean that feels like he could almost do it and maybe with a bit of perse perseverance he could probably do a one leg pose I mean he kicks like that a lot in the series oh. and yeah he does have heels so like heels on his shoes so on his boots and again he's got the bendy toes but I don't really see the point Right, Ugh. I mean that's an unusual pose I've done for him there, to, admittedly, but considering, uh, again, he's got very limited movement based on his clothing, but again, he's got all these hands, but I'm not too sure. Right, so I'm actually going to end this by actually trying to recreate his henshin pose. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right, so because the thing is, he, I mean, all these hands are basically he's got a set of claspy hands, but I don't see why because he's got nothing to hold. Um, right, I don't know why he's got like I'm just trying to think because I know, I mean, the thing with the hench with the henshin call is it was Ichimonji Hayato Ichimonji that did the first henshin. And then he came along and did it like after his return to the franchise because, again, uh, Takeshi Hongo was in the thir first 13 episodes. He was in the first 13 episodes, but uh, he then had to leave because he was heavily injured. But, okay, uh, let's have a quick look. So those hands do quickly pop off. Right, so I'll just do flat hands for his henshin pose. Just because I can see where the flat hands are. So those hands were easy off. Hands got a very strong plastic feel to them. And yeah, the hands are pretty much easy on as well. Right, so... Right, so that is a rough approximation of his henshin pose. And just to try and do this to the camera. Ugh. I mean, if anything, that backing just seems a bit off center. But there you go. Thank you all for watching and see you for a future rider release.